These New Year's Eve partiers were just some of the more than 87,000 customers who rode BART on the final night of 2009. It was one of the smoothest New Year's Eves in BART history, thanks in part to months of planning. Those plans went into action well before the clock struck midnight. At 8 p.m., train operations support manager Paul Liston briefed frontline supervisors. They were joined by more than 100 BART admin workers who were enlisted to help passengers navigate the system. So thank you for being here. Happy New Year. Uh, this will be a fun evening. Meantime, police commander Dan Hartwig was briefing reporters. We want people to come to the BART system. They, we want them to feel safe. And we want them to feel that they can come up to BART police officers and say, good evening, good afternoon, how are you doing? Why are you here? We're here because we want you to be safe. BART assigned almost 50% more police officers to patrol the system than in years past. Deputies from the San Francisco Sheriff's Department lent a helping hand too. Happy New Year! <laughs> As the anticipation for the midnight fireworks began to build along Market Street, the BART concourses became eerily calm. BART Board Vice President Bob Franklin and Board President James Fang were eager to see how the agency's skip-stop schedule would work. Used for the first time, the modified schedule was designed to more evenly disperse the crowd between two downtown stations. BART had been telling passengers about the change through bulletins and other outlets for weeks, and banners in stations went up to reinforce the message. Volunteers like executive manager Jennifer Barton were ready to offer directions. And then it was showtime. Fireworks signaled the beginning of 2010. Then, just minutes after the fireworks started, tens of thousands of partiers headed back to BART for the trip home. This would be the true test of the plan. Some entrances of Embarcadero Station were closed in an effort to spread out the crowd. It's Embarcadero Station. This entrance is closed. Go ahead and go on, go on down to the next entrance. Newly unveiled street-level banners reminded customers of the skip-stop schedule. Assistant General Manager Paul Overseer got the word out, too. If you're going to the Pittsburgh or the Richmond line, you've got to walk down to Montgomery Street Station. This is Dublin, Fremont only. On the concourse level, ticket lines were relatively short, many people apparently heeding the advice to buy round-trip tickets earlier. The ride down the escalators was crowded but orderly. The scene on the platforms was festive but far from frightening. BART TV spotted dozens of families enjoying the night out among the younger partiers. The 8 p.m. to 3 a.m. ridership of 87,800 topped previous records, and in the end, there were no arrests made. Zero. Once again, BART customers rose to the occasion, setting the stage for what everyone hopes will be a safe and prosperous 2010. Jim Allison, BART TV News.